What's up everyone, it's Justin with Jade to Gabble here and today I've got the review of the BoxWave Keyboard Buddy case for the iPhone 5. So this is one of the first keyboard cases I've actually seen for the iPhone 5 and I know a lot of you out there would really like this especially because of the fact that it doesn't add too much bulk but it still gives you a full tactile keyboard that is wirelessly connected. As you can see the keys are just pretty much standard but it does also have the function keys to adjust brightness, access settings quickly, question marks, and all those cool icons that you will see on a regular keyboard. And on the back it does have a nice slate finish that definitely really reminds me of the iPod Touch 5th generation or even the iPhone 5 on the edge. The overall quality of this is really great and the aluminum feels really good in the hand. Just take a look at the side here and there's just a volume switch as well as your micro USB charger. In order to connect this, we just need to go to Bluetooth settings, turn on Bluetooth, just give it a tap there, and it will search for a device. You can just hit that pair button in order to help it, and instantly it does show up with the keyboard. Now it just asks you to type in some keys, like 1554 on this, and hit enter. Then you should be fine, and your keyboard should be connected. So just give it a second there and now it says that it is connected so we're good to go. Now it's just time to give you guys a look at how this actually works. I've never actually had a phone with a full tactile keyboard before that I use but I have to say the tactility on this does feel really really good and the keys in the beginning may feel a little bit weird in terms of the orientation but it is very standard so for those coming from other devices you should be able to pick this up right away. Just give you guys a closer look at what I'm typing here. I did get a few errors here and there, but it's just because I'm not really that used to it. But I think the keys do feel really well. You can still feel what you're typing when you're typing a key, whether um, it's numbers, letters, when you're typing. And you overall should be able to get some stuff done on this, and I really enjoy the way this feels. For me, as someone who's used to iOS devices owning them for about four years, I am kind of more leaning towards a touch keyboard, but I know a lot of you will definitely like this. On the side, there's also the lock key and everything as well as the home button that you can access right away from the keyboard. But overall, I have to recommend this. I have to say the battery life has been very good on this from what I've tested. The connectivity is easy. The slim line is very nice. The fact that it doesn't add too much bulk to your device, which is one of the problems I noticed with the iPhone 4 keyboard I've tried out from another company. But overall, I have to recommend this for anyone who wants a tactile keyboard for the iPhone 5. So go ahead and check them out, guys. I'll see you in my next video.